Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I'm tucked into a hotel room here. Uh, I'm in Jacksonville, Florida for the start of my 50cc coast to coast iron butt ride. Uh, the, the ride here uh, has, has been uh, wet. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, some massive storms came through. It started raining on me really hard in Louisiana and it never stopped till I cleared Tallahassee. So it's been wet, but uh, the BMW GS dry gear kept me dry, um, but really wet. So had a, had a couple little mishaps with some packing stuff, things that I just, I forgot, but a quick trip to uh, Best Buy this afternoon got me set. Uh, I'm gonna get stuff prepped and, and ready for the morning and, and go scout out my starting point but somewhere out there is the beach i'm gonna guess that way i don't know but anyway uh we made it gonna start gonna get a, a good night's sleep here and i don't know i'm not sure what time i'm taking off yet but we're gonna go check out the beach here in a few all right i can walk in this It's pretty cool. That's uh, the Atlantic side the Navy side. Thanks, buddy. All right, so it's, it's like two o'clock in the morning. Um, really didn't have intention of leaving us early, but it seems that the weather is coming in and it's going to get nothing but colder so uh, I felt like I was rested and might as well head out uh, one glove still a little damp I'm not uh, too worried about any of that. I'm only going next door. It's a gas station like right next door here. That's why I chose this place. One eighteen. One eighteen. All right. to
long fuel stop man long fuel stop but I think I got everything working kidding me This is stupid, man. I just come on. Another drive. It is 10.45 at night, um, and I'm out. Quick little break, but I would rather stop here and sleep in my own bed a few hours in a hotel. Oh my mind. I laid down about, uh, I guess about 6.30, so I slept a few good hours. My dog woke me up.
1.30 in the morning. I just stopped in Ozona, Texas. Um, it's like 50 degrees, a little chilly, so I took a quick little break here and grabbed a cup of coffee. But uh, things are going good. As you can see, um, Ozona is not the busiest place. This is a, kind of a barren stretch, so if you come this way, coming from San Antonio, you got Comfort, which is kind of the last big place, and then you got Junction, Ozona, and then uh, I should make was it Van Horn, I hope. So. All right, see you in a bit. Another splash and go at Fort Stockton. So, uh, 3.05. So, time to roll on. <clears throat> All right. Um, it's, I don't know, 7.30, 8.30. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not real sure. I'm just a few miles from Arizona and I mean it is brutal cold uh, it's <clears throat> it's been like 30s uh, bikes flashing at me tell me freeze warning brutal but look at the mountains When you're tired of sitting, this is where you have breakfast. All right, so it's, uh, gosh, what is it, nine? Um, I, I think it's nine-ish. I'm, I'm almost 12 hours and I'm right at 900 miles. I'm 50 miles from, from Phoenix. So I'm, I'm doing well, even though I struggled last night with uh, the cold, but I'm doing well. Bike's holding up great. I'm holding up good, beard's itchy, but um, yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna grab some jerky and hit the road. All right, uh, at a rest area about 40 miles from Yuma. I just, I uh, hadn't had my camel back on in a while, so I, I needed to stop put that on. I was, I'm really thirsty, so. But look at those mountains. Beautiful. Takes a special kind, I guess, to appreciate the desert. I sure like it. All right, let's do this. That's it. I did it. There's my gas station. I don't need a license outside.
No, I don't know. My freaking ocean water. So obviously I'm, I'm back home now. I, I survived the trip uh, and it, it was a, a big success for me. So I, I'm, I'm very happy, no tickets, no accidents. So yeah, big success. Uh, the weather was brutal getting there. I rode through those storms that came through the south. That was, that was tough, uh, that, that was tough and it, it changed things for me. So uh, I, I will tell you that a trip like this your stops are where you make your time. Be efficient with your time, take care of everything, and don't stop unnecessarily. So that's the big thing. But you don't have to do it in two days like I did in 38 hours. You can do it, in, you can take two breaks. I mean, I had 12 hours left. I could have taken another five or six hour break and still made it plenty of time. So keep that in mind when you, when you do your, your ride, if you do something like this. So I may do one more video, uh, what went right, what went wrong for me and, and issues that I encountered because I, I don't show everything on, on the video that you just seen. So uh, keep your eye out for that. Again, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Keep an eye out for the, for the next video. Got a lot of things coming up. All right, thanks and have a great day. Be safe.